Hello, welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to look at classifications of chemical reactions so the different types of reactions based on what the products and reactants are in the equation. So let's start with understanding that we're going to use classifying chemical reactions using the Flintstones and let's take a look at our first example. So here we have Fred. And Fred meets Wilma. And together they become the Flintstones. So this process of two things joining together to become one is known as synthesis. So substance A plus substance B yields molecule AB. So an example of this would be the synthesis of water where hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas gives us the molecule water. So synthesis, to combine, to put together. So now if we have the Flintstones and they have a heated argument and during that heated argument they decide to break up and Fred goes on his own while Wilma goes on her own, this is known as decomposition, to break down, to take apart. So AB yields A and B. Decomposition. So when potassium chlorate, KClO3, is heated, it breaks down and becomes potassium chloride and releases oxygen gas. This is the decomposition of potassium chlorate. If, however, the Flintstones go to a dance or a party, and there they meet up with Betty, and during the interaction at the party, Fred ends up with Betty, while Wilma ends up on her own, this is known as single replacement and sometimes this is called single displacement because you are displacing one substance in place of another and this looks like AB plus C becomes AC plus B. And an example of this would be if we take silver nitrate, we place it in a solution with copper and the copper connects to the nitrate and the silver is released and this would be the single replacement of silver nitrate with copper or the displacement of silver by copper. So depending on what text you're using or what chemist you're speaking to we can use the term single replacement or single displacement. If the Flintstones go to a dance and they meet up with the rubbles and during the interaction at that party or that get-together Fred somehow ends up with Betty while Barney ends up with Wilma we are displacing two things or replacing two things so this is a double replacement or as I said we could re re we could replace that word with displacement so AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. So we have the double replacement of potassium nitrate with magnesium chloride where the potassium is placed in solution with magnesium chloride and during the interaction in solution the magnesium is now replacing the chlorine, the, the potassium with the nitrate, and the potassium is now with the chlorine, we now have a situation of a double replacement. We are replacing two items in the molecules. And I, once again, we can use the word double displacement in this case as well. We also have equations that are called neutralizations and in a neutralization we have an acid usually providing a hydrogen and a base providing a hydroxide 
and the outcome of this acid and base reaction we get a salt made by the positive ion from the base combining with the negative ion from the acid and the H from the acid joins the OH from the base to form water or H2O. So here we have hydrochloric acid HCl combining with NaOH the base sodium hydroxide and the outcome is a salt sodium chloride and water HOH. We also have a reaction called a combustion reaction where we are going to burn a hydrocarbon in oxygen. So the hydrocarbon gets its name from the fact that it is a hydrogen and carbon molecule. We are going to use oxygen to combust or burn the hydrocarbon and the outcome will always be carbon dioxide and water. So an example of this would look like this where we have the combustion of a hydrocarbon called propane C3H8. It takes five molecules of oxygen to burn one molecule of propane and the outcome or products of this reaction will be three molecules of carbon dioxide and four molecules of water. Always a hydrocarbon burned in oxygen will produce carbon dioxide and water. So we have again six various reactions that we can classify and they are single displacement, double displacement, synthesis, decomposition, neutralization, and combustion. So please keep working on your chemistry and have a great day.